So then we know that uh, finding a job can be difficult and sometimes it can take time, three months, five months, six months, and it can be stressful. Some people say finding a job is a full-time job, but we cannot be in front of the computer all the time. We need to have a schedule. We need to do many small things. So what tips you have for job seekers to have a less stressful job search journey? Oh, yeah. Brilliant question, by the way. And this is something that I would even recommend to people who are looking to get discovered by employers, by uh, news brands, by podcasters. There are things that we can do that actually help increase our visibility. Yeah. I, I To get discovered, I don't think you need to increase visibility to get discovered. I think you need to increase shareability okay. to get discovered. Um, a, a few of my favorite tricks, hacks, so to speak, that I've 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 thrown out to friends that are looking for job opportunities at a point in time where they weren't successful. I said, well, you just have so much information. What if you were to create a report, a report that just demonstrates your expertise, a report that maybe you posted as a, not as a LinkedIn post, but maybe it's a LinkedIn news article. Yeah. And it's a resource. It's a source of information that you can then take and use as posts and you can create traffic and information to it. And instead of going on these job interviews and talking about the same thing that everyone's talking about or the future of what everyone's talking, you would have this like report that no one asked you to do, by mm -hmm. the way. And I found yeah. that to be really valuable at MTV during my time at MTV. The, 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 uh, yes, I was in a development department and yes, everything I was doing was new. So there was nothing to judge it, you know, or, or hold it again. But I had to keep innovating. We had to keep innovating as a department to uh, to grow ultimately the way that we did and to empower the storytellers that we let come through that network. And and reports for me have been um, a big win, especially the end of this year. And there's a couple of ways, by the way, you might even think of this one, I can write the report myself. Yeah. Two, I can demonstrate that I have access to people, to experts who have information worthy of reports. So I might not be able to have the, the data points myself, but I'm now showing access to data points. Yeah. Or maybe I don't have the data points, but I'm really organized and I do know how to have, you know, get, get that data. Maybe I'm really strong with Instagram stories and I can put in a couple of, um, of, of polls to get yeah. some information and really show it in a unique way. LinkedIn polls, yeah. you know, for example. So, so you don't have to necessarily, you know, step in and say that I'm the expert, but I have expertise in culling and curating information. Yeah. And I found that by being the guest and the host, it allows me to have the space to do both. And that's what I like most about podcasting is you don't need to be a guest to be, you don't need to be a podcast host to be a guest on other people's podcasts. And you don't have to have, be a, a, a guest to host other people's podcasts. Um, but there's just so much space for opportunity, especially in, in that podcasting world, it really because of the collaborative element of it all. I tell my clients have a schedule, you know, maybe Monday morning, you're going to network, maybe in the afternoon, you're going to out to the gym, maybe Tuesday morning, informative interviews, and maybe Tuesday afternoon, you're going to take a day off because you need that mental health taking care of yourself. And then maybe yes. one morning you apply for the job and then the rest. And again, uh, uh, celebrating small wins. You applied for a job. You spoke with someone. You got the call. You did the, info, the, the phone interview. So also those helps uh, when to be less stressful during job search. Yeah, I, for me, uh, so I can compare job searching for me, like sort of gig to gig, you know, as well. Mm -hmm. I, yes, I own my company, but I'm, there are seasons when television networks would release money. So there were certainly, you know, look, I, I as an owner of a company like that certainly felt, you know, more than anyone, um, like I was jumping from gig to gig. Um, I, I think that the awareness, the awareness of the cycles that when you look at the schedule and you realize you don't have, you have one quarter to do this over and over again, four times a year or one month, you know, to, to get to do this something, you know, repetitively, the, the, the more I can work in systems, mm -hmm. the more I could identify patterns that I was comfortable in, the easier it is for me to do this, take the same steps, but just with different materials. And that's kind of been my, my trick is like, I also haven't gone looking for opportunities in places where um, I don't want to end up. <laughs> so I'm careful about where I look because yeah. I know that I'm going to find it. You know, like if you're if you're looking for the, the special person in your life and you don't want them to drink, then stop looking at the bar because you're going to meet them at the bar. Or if like you want, you know, someone who reads 
in, in you know, certain types of books, go hang out in, in that, you know, be, the there's proximity, right? There's proximity to it and be careful what you look for. Cause you're, cause you're going to find it and it's out there looking for you too. I believe I that for a fact. Totally agree. Again, thank you for those great tips, Manny. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Manny.